All right, believe it or not, this video has been in the works for longer than any llama opening ever takes or takes me to do. <laughs> so daily rewards are a thing that I've been unlocking for a while and they removed all the founders stuff from down here. But I have been unlocking my founders llamas, I think once a week, every week since they re-released these and allowed everybody's version of the game to get upgraded and I was one of those people who went from limited to like the ultimate maximum edition which unlocked a bunch more llamas so not all of these are founders llamas only a few of them will be sprinkled in and I want to clickbait for 50 llamas so I actually saved this llama specifically because uh you get a I, I get a legendary trap durability survivor which for those of you who don't know, I'll link my survivor video below if I remember to, but essentially it's the only set bonus that really makes any difference in this game. And I just want to make sure there's nothing down there. And so yeah, just for the sake of clickbait, <laughs> I'm basically just going to be opening, well, oh, another chapter ability survivor. Opening three more llamas just on top of that. So we're going to have a think of legendary stroll, a legendary troll stash is mixed in there. We're going to have a few founders uh, uh, llamas. I'm not sure which ones will be which. I'm sure the colors will be different. I'm also going to be trying out the new open 10, which I fear will make this video a lot shorter than I intended it to be. But I guess I'll just open. T Wait, what? Really? Is it that simple? Oh, my goodness. Oh, this video is going to be like two seconds long. Oh, no. Wait, what do you mean? I want a sword. I would like a sword, please. Oh, are you not going to tell me the six perks? I'll do a slice and dice then. Why not? And then a melee? Yes. I want that. Okay. I don't... There are so many cho... Whoa. Did I really just open ten llamas just like that? I might... I might have to open these the slow way. I... <laughs> I don't think I know what I just signed up for. I'm also going to have to leave my lobby, as not everybody likes to respect my lobbies. As much as I beg and plead for people to not join my lobby uninvited, it still happens. Oh, there's a trap durability in there. Haha! I gotta save you! I gotta save you! No! I need you right there. Okay. I think there's everybody of any value. Yes. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let me leave this lobby. Make it private. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, I might have to open these one at a time because, you know, the whole idea of chatting with me for a little bit while I smack some llamas is, is kind of integral. So here's what I'll do. Just to make it like a round number as if it matters, I think I'll open seven of these like kind of the normal way. And then I'll open the next four in like four big batches. And then we can sort of scroll through whatever I got. Ooh, speaking of which, yes. You want to make sure you don't... Uh, you know, get rid of one of those that might have one of the new six perks. So I'll save all the founder. You know what? Let's do a founder's llama. Let's do one. I want to do it. We've already somehow been recording for three minutes. There we go. So the orange ones will be founder's llamas. I don't have any purple founder's weapons other than the founder's revolt, of course. So there we go. I get a hunter killer. That's, um, if anybody doesn't know, these are not showing here, but it does have the fancy six perk. And that's kind of a kind of the draw to founders weapons i can show it more specifically right here what what do you mean founders raptor where's the six perk aren't they supposed to have a maybe it unlocks down the line i'm sure it unlocks down the line maybe i'm talking on my ass but that's how they're supposed to work i don't know i'm gonna favorite that just so i can check it later yeah those new six perks are sneaky you gotta be careful about that but let's do five more just regular upgrade llamas and then and then we'll open them all at once because it would be shockingly short <laughs> shockingly short of a video if we uh if we open them all at once that's amazing now i'm not like gonna be one of those youtubers trying to stretch this to 10 minutes or anything but yeah i think it ruins a little bit of the mystification if we open them too quickly now of course if you're somebody with a bunch of mini llamas or you have for whatever reason you just never open event llamas or your tickets get spent you just don't care yeah, that'll be that'll be great to open 10 at once just to burn through everything super quickly. That's extremely convenient. If you're recording a video like I am, it's a little annoying, but like my Rad Llamas, for example, round up to six tickets. I will be getting at least how many is 30, 16, so 32 llamas because uh, it's 500 each. Yeah, that's um, that's going to be a lot of llamas to just open instantly, you know, three, four clicks of 10 at once. Ooh, we got gold. We got gold. Is this the legendary troll stash? I don't think it was i thought that was a regular upgrade llama so that'll be nice i think Ooh, sword or spear the swords a lot of them a lot of them have new six perks oh the stabs worth that could be really good if that has the ramping curt rating perk i'm gonna be excited 
all right? I'm not going to yell or, or yip or chat or anything like that, but but I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Stabsworth. I don't care about either of these. Also, the short blade slicer evolves to a Stabsworth. So I'll save that green one just in case it's something good, just in case it, you know, I, you can check with Fortnite DB, by the way. You can sort of evolve it through their website, and they can see your schematics, and I might be able to check later in, like, a stream. Yes. Oh, movement speed. Not what I was hoping for. Now it is. You know what? Um, oh, I have to evolve this all the way to purple just to check it. Yeah. So I'm not gonna do that. But I will. I will favorite that just to set it aside so I, I know to know to check that later. Let's do one more upgrade llama and then we'll do it the quick way. Yeah. So that's a cool trick if you didn't know. You can scan your uh, your profile on Fortnite DB. And wasn't I supposed to start recording these videos with a face cam? Wouldn't it be weird if I just switched like midway through? Because you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a a little side side trip here. Here, let me just do this. Literally, literally I'm only remembering this halfway through the video, but I want to share this with you guys because I took a poll on uh on my my YouTube channel here. I run one of those. If you didn't know, I don't need this anymore. The stream is over now. But almost six thousand of you voted, and a huge, huge majority of you want face cams in these videos. So I don't have any kind of formal overlay besides the stream one so you're gonna have to see the numbers and whatnot but i don't know i probably should have remembered that in the beginning it's one of those things where i wasn't going to do it in all my videos and i still don't intend to but for things like the best perks videos that are a little more focused on the weapon i i do think that that will probably um probably not have face cams but in videos like this where we're just llama opening or whatever or if there are any patch notes or something for by the way I'll probably put this in its own video or something, but literally, again, mid-recording. I don't know when this video will be out, but Magis just confirmed that, like, Sledgehammer's coming back, because somebody said if he doesn't come back in the next update, they'll recruit him, and then Magis said to hold on. So, you know, a little bit of Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer news midway through a llama opening. If you're watching this, upon release, that'll be relevant to you. I don't know when this will go up, though. So, anyway, you know... This is just how information spreads nowadays, is in the middle of YouTube videos of unrelated content from a comment reply from an individual Epic employee on a Reddit account. This is our life now. This is our- you know, I- I'm gonna- I'm gonna get mid-rant right before we get back to some more llamas, but I- When things are coming back within a month, I just spit on my mouse pad, you Good should be able to drink. go to- Oh my goodness, that's gonna happen with this. I'm figuring it out, you guys. I'm figuring it out. But- when you go to recruit Sledgehammer, for example, it should say, hold on, Ho hold on, he might be coming back, or something, I don't know, it's just really unfair. Um, to those of you who are in the stream at the time, one of, I keep mixing people up, I think it was Cody or Poolboy, I think it was, I think it was Cody, he, uh, he recruited Whiteout Fiona 13 minutes before the shop reset, 13 minutes the man blew a voucher. Yeah, that's tough, but uh, what are you going to do? So, Bearcat... Oh, Founder's Bearcat or Founder's Wasp. I'm going to go for the Bearcat. I don't know that I'll ever use any of these weapons, but whatever. Pistol or Sniper? Um, Pistol could have... Yeah, eh, nothing that I'm interested in. Snipers can be bows, though, although there's not really anything on the bow to-do list that I'm interested in. Got a couple of legendary survivors. That'll be really good because I've been needing a lot of manuals. Tedshot Jess just got her in gold for the very first time last stream. Seriously. <laughs> it's one of those like late game things where certain specific heroes and weapons have just kind of evaded me and I uh, never quite got a copy of them. I know I did uncheck a stampede earlier. And the Huskbuster is just more durability ammo you know cost effective i don't know why I, I even saved that other one but i think that sets aside everything uh from these llamas look at all the manuals and designs Ooh, because you can currently as of recording if they haven't changed anything since i last played you can research these art deco weapons and that's kind of a big deal because i'm gonna need one of these for a video actually um by the way just mid recording no regrets if that has damage to fire then today's upload is going to be <clears throat> sorry about that <clears throat> yeah yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna favor that real quick i needed a damage to fire because i'm i'm recording a killjoy video if you're watching this that video is probably out i should link that below as well but i uh 
I'm happy to get that. I'm happy to get that. Yeah, Founders Vendetta. It's an easy grab. Easy, easy grab. Shotgun or AR? Shotgun or AR? I think the AR can have stack and crit rating on the Siege Breaker, if that's a pro, if that's a thing. Some of the shotguns have knockback, which is important. I think I'm more concerned about the AR. Vacuum Tube can have Chain Lightning. I'm grabbing it for no other reason besides that hope. Oh, a Survivor or a Melee. A Survivor can have Trap Durability, which means very little in my game-to-game -game gameplay. If I can get the Vacuum Tube Sword... Oh, I can't. Damn it. Hardware, I guess? What are we good? What are, you, what are we hoping for? What are we... Oh, a Thrasher. Oh, Snare. Seeker, Affliction. Cause Affliction. Critical Hits cause an explosion on the Fortsville. That could be very fun. That... That could be very, very fun because uh, Choo Choo sent me a screenshot in the middle of our podcast, no less. Thanks for paying attention, man. No, I'm just kidding. He sent me a picture of the uh, the Fortsville Slugger and said, you get to play with this later. And it had that critical hits cause an explosion with like an attack speed perk and crit rating. I mean, there are just a lot of fun things you can do right now in the game that I don't think too many people are looking at too closely. And literally that explosion perk alone, depending on how it performs could result in a video on the subject we'll see we'll see we'll see all right last 10 llamas i didn't realize by the way until like a little while ago but i didn't mention it right away that i'm getting uh i don't think it matters these are gonna be founders right can all of these be founders oh oh well that was uneventful um what do we got here thrasher you know to keep those Want to make sure that there's nothing good in here. Looking for trap durability. I don't think there is a hero in the game that I'm missing out on. I've always wanted multiple Terminator schematics. Could be good. I don't know. I mean, it's a great weapon. So, hold on to those, right? And... I don't know of any of these weapons that can be evolved to be incredibly good. Stop Axe. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. I do not have a copy of. So... That's an easy grab for me personally. Like, the Stop X is such a meme that I've wanted to, like, do something with it in a video or whatever. But I don't have a copy of the Stop X. So, yeah, that's that's a good grab. I'm glad I got that. And then I want to just make... Oh, yeah, Trap Durability. Yep, mm -hmm. that's why you double check. That's why you double check. Because if there's ever an event like Frost Knight or any kind of endurance where I'm going to... And literally endurance. Any kind of endurance thing that's going to require that we have lots of Trap Durability... It'll be nice to have that on, on hand, and I think that clears up everything. Let me just do a triple check. Looking for trap durability or any meaningful weapons. I see none. Cool. All right. Well, honestly, it's so easy to open. Can you just open 10 Rad Llamas? Like, yes. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. I'm still going to keep it 50 in the title as of right now. I might change my mind later on because... I don't want to suddenly bump the video up to 60, but, like, damn. It's so nice to just open all my llamas all at once. I got a woofer and a bee blaster. None of those six perks can be fancy or anything super special, but I got another trap durability survivor, so that's nice to see. Okay. I want enough of those to fill out my entire survivor squads with trap durability should any kind of event later down the road need it. So that's kind of a cool thing. I'm always glad to see that. And then, of course, if there's a legendary survivor with trap durability, then I can just put him into my normal squads and be absolutely chilling. That's cool. That's cool. I was getting a little frivolous here. I don't want to spend too much time on Rad Llamas in this video, but, like, that's clean. I love this new opening feature. All right. Well, that's been some Llama openings with the new feature. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. I thought it'd be a little quick, but if you spend some time to appreciate what you might have gotten, you know, scroll through some of your new weapons... You can uh, potentially find some... Oh, yeah, the Vintertech Seeker's not in my book. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. That's, again, going to happen, because a lot of people are following me on Twitch right now, because I just made the announcement that I'm going to be streaming over there. Okay, nothing nothing in here is, is not in the collection book, but I, there are things like the Thrasher that I want to just hold on to. And then, of course, my one and only Stop X. Yes. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not going to put any outro on this, but there will be some videos that you can click somewhere on the screen here. Um, goodbye. I hope you have a marvelous day. And then if the weather is nice, you should go and enjoy it. Goodbye.